Hey there, Monster Gardeners. Welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week, we're going to be talking about hermaphrodites. There's a lot of different things that can cause a plant to become hermaphrodite. Genetics is paramount among them. There are a lot of people out there that are experimenting with breeding, which is leading to a lot of very unstable genetics out there, which is the number one factor that causes hermaphrodites. The second factor would be stress. Now that stress can come from heat, the lights being too close, or even a light leak, which is something that's very important to address. Light leaks have long been shown to cause stress in the environment to the plant, which makes them freak out and throw off what a lot of people call bananas. Uh, bananas are male flowers which are often capable of pollinating the female flowers of the same plant with that same genetic code. That's where hermaphrodites come from. So there are a lot of different sources of light that can be in your room from environmental controllers to outside sources. So green light has long been shown to be something that plants don't really respond to very strongly. It's not part of the photosynthetic process. But red light or infrared light, like you see on a lot of different lighting controllers and environmental controllers, can cause the same thing if it's close enough to the plant to interrupt the photo period. So again, light leaks, probably number one right behind genetics. And uh, something that you should do on a regular basis is go ahead and hang out in a room during the dark part of the photo period without the lights on and see if you can find any light leaks especially if you're having issues with plants herming out on you. Now, if you do suspect that you have a genetic that is predisposed to doing this because you have friends who've tried it, there's a product called Switch from Optic Foliar that helps to combat this problem. Now, you use this on day seven and day 17 of the bloom cycle to be most successful, and it helps to take care of all those bananas. So if you use this as you should, uh, which by the way you need to use it within 30 minutes of mixing it up you should have no problems with that so this is a really good fail safe for you if you know that you are messing around with some genetics that maybe aren't necessarily the most solid they haven't had enough back crossing for example thanks for tuning in monster gardeners we'll see you again next time leave some comments below and tell us what you think where the hell is scott scott i'm in here Bro, what are you doing in here? I'm just looking for light leaks, bro.